My name is Dawn Parry from Cardiff Hello. Speakers Club and uh, my subject is Home Repossessions. Mr Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, 75,000 homes are likely to be repossessed this year, 2009. The last time that number of homes were forced to become empty due to people unable to pay their mortgages due to interest rates, due to unemployment, was in 1991. And even then, I believe it only peaked 70,000. Now, we're not talking about 75,000 people. The knock-on effect is immense. I know one single person who happens to have been forced into that situation. We're not talking about somebody feckless. We're not talking about somebody who didn't care, who didn't try to pay for their mortgage. We're talking about one man with a wife, with three children, and they also had their mother, his mother-in-law living with them. The effect has been absolutely catastrophic. I feel that we are living in a society today that is not helping each other. You and I, taxpayers, <coughs> unhappily very often, but there again very happily too, because we're meant to be providing a cushion for others in society through our tax payments. However, there seems to be a very short-term view on people becoming homeless due to their loss of jobs, their loss of income and so on. We as taxpayers have bailed out those very same banks and building societies who are pulling the rug from underneath previously very hard-working people in society today. We have paid to bail out those banks and those building societies. Yet those very same banks and building societies are giving ordinary people who've been forced into these terrible situations three months. Three months to find another job. To find three months worth of interest payments that they've missed. Now I've got a little solution to this. And I don't think it would be terribly difficult. And I'm sure, going back to the previous speaker who was talking about using imagination, being far more creative about things, I don't think this would take a genius government even to come up with this. But I honestly believe that what we should be doing in society, rather than leaving these homes empty because people have been forced out of them, and then auctioning these properties off for far lesser amounts of money, which is what's happening right now, so that people's debts aren't being recovered, repaid. What we should be doing is allowing these people to stay in their homes, because the minute they become homeless, social services, or the DHSS, has to pay for them then to be rehoused at a far higher expense than their mortgages were in bed and breakfasts family accommodation they have to find for them, rented property, and yet they don't allow them to stay in their own homes, which would be a far smaller amount to be paid, and perhaps we could come up with something in society where our government, hopefully, will pay for people to stay in their own homes, rather than bail out banks and building societies, to yet again profiteer from the difficulties caused on all of us to all of us by greedy fat cats in banking and capitalist society today. Mm -hmm.